Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of a Gucci Bloom. I caved in and bought this. Um, note to self, when smelling samples, don't smell the expensive ones. Because after I first smelled this, I was like, I need it in my life. And this is only 30 ml and it cost me like 60. It was like 60, 60 something, which is a lot for 30 ml. But I've noticed anyway, even not like higher high and like Gucci, but things like Marc Jacobs and all those other ones, perfume has gone like it's skyrocketed. Like celebrity perfumes have stayed the same, but like high end per um, perfumes have skyrocketed in price. But anyway. So this is Gucci Bloom, so this is basically what the box looks like. So the box is quite fancy and then the actual bottle is quite plain. I like the bottle and I don't like the bottle. I really like the colour of it, but I hate how it's not clear. I find that a little bit annoying. I do prefer my bottles to be clear, but then again, technically the problem with clear bottles is if the sun gets to it, it can deteriorate the fragrance. So I suppose it does make sense, especially how this costs a lot. But anyway, so this is a floral perfume. Now the notes, there's only three um, ingredients, well perfumery ingredients, scents should I say, in this. Now um, a lot of people are saying that it's quite basic but the thing is I think this is genius because the problem with florals, now I love florals so for me you can't have too much florals but I thought most people find that you can, you can overdo it on a floral fragrance where there's too many notes in it and it gets that kind of overly florally I don't like to use this word because I I think it's offensive <laughs> but that so I'm going to try and say something else but that kind of like vintage floral basically maybe you get what I mean when I say vintage old floral people okay I'm gonna, I, I don't like using that term because it's it's just offensive like you know anyway so getting into the notes that there is are top notes is jasmine middle is tuberose and at base is rangoon creeper um which is basically chinese honeysuckle, honeysuckle which um <laughs> is gives a sweet scent a sweet floral scent so when you first spray you get that massive hint of the jasmine and then the tuberose comes in. I really love tuberose. So for me, it's more kind of like a tuberose fragrance, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, as I said, you get the jasmine, but the tuberose takes over immediately. And then the rangoon creeper gives it like that sweet scent. But again, it's still floral. It's not overly sweet. It's like a delicate sweet, if that makes any sense. Like, for the most part, it's like a heavy white floral with slight sweetness to it so when it comes to lasting power it's it's more than average but I would expect it to last a lot more longer just because of the price I mean that's the only thing like I really like it as I said it's a simple scent maybe some you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it I mean it depends on taste like some people may not want a simple scent in like a high-end product because of the amount they're paying but it's a very nice simple white floral scent for me the letdown just because of the price is I just want it to last a little bit more just a little bit more <laughs> that's all I'm asking like don't get me wrong it's as I said it is it's moderate so it lasts like quite a few hours but I want it to at least last like half a day maybe I'm just asking too much maybe I'm just asking a little bit too much but overall if you're a fan of white florals then definitely go for this as I said as a run-up as an overall your first spray you get jasmine but the tuberose over overcome overcomes it so if you're a massive fan of tuberose you're gonna love this scent and then the rangoon creeper comes in and um wraps it up in this like again still floral this slight sweet um scent but still heavily floral so even if you're not a massive fan of fan of florals usually because you think they're a bit too much and you've got the money then try this one out because as I said it's more of a simple kind of floral scent um I would say it's like an everyday one as well and um, but yeah that's it for this review so bye guys